Welcome to Wood Arena, a channel dedicated to showcasing the fascinating journey of wood, from towering trees in the forest, all the way to finely processed timber ready for industry. Here we bring you the power of modern logging, the precision of advanced machines, and the craftsmanship that keeps the lumber industry moving forward. Today we'll follow that journey step by step. We begin in the forest, where skilled operators tackle a towering 40-meter poplar tree. Before such a giant can be felled, arborists perform a process called ahopage, or crown reduction. Working at heights of around 30 meters, they carefully remove the upper branches to reduce weight and control the tree's balance. This isn't done just for show. Reducing the crown minimizes the risk of uncontrolled falls and protects nearby structures, power lines, and even the workers themselves. In many European forestry practices, crown reduction is a standard safety step when handling oversized trees in urban or semi-urban environments. Once the crown is managed, the base cut begins. Operators use precision chainsaws to make directional notches, guiding the tree to fall exactly where intended. Modern forestry crews often combine manual skill with mechanical assistance, cranes, rigging lines, and even hydraulic grabs to ensure safety and accuracy. Watching such a tree come down is more than just a spectacle. It's an introduction to the scale of the timber industry. Every large log represents not only potential lumber, but also pulp for paper, chips for biomass energy, and veneers for plywood. That single poplar, now neatly on the ground, begins its transformation into valuable raw material. Not every tree requires complex rigging. Some are brought down by sheer chainsaw power. Here, we witness high-speed cutting equipment designed for efficiency. These powerful saws, when handled by trained professionals, make short work of hardwoods, preparing them for processing in record time. Precision and speed combine to keep forestry operations productive. Now we move from saws to hydraulics. The industrial Tarzan, a nickname given to tree removal crews armed with powerful woodcracker machines, shows how modern technology handles large, stubborn trees. The woodcracker attachment, mounted on excavators, acts like a giant claw with cutting jaws. Unlike a chainsaw, it grips, severs, and holds the tree, preventing it from falling unpredictably. This is especially valuable in tight spaces, where surrounding property or roads could be damaged. In this demonstration, the team systematically takes down trees with speed and safety. First, the claw clamps around the trunk. Then, in one smooth hydraulic motion, the cutter slices through. 
Instead of crashing down, the tree is lifted and guided to the ground. It's controlled felling at its best. What makes this remarkable is efficiency. In traditional logging, one large tree might take hours to prepare, cut, and clear. With machines like the woodcracker, the same job is done in minutes. For forestry companies, that translates into cost savings, reduced risk, and higher throughput. Beyond lumber, these machines play a role in maintaining public safety. They are often used along highways, near power lines, or in storm cleanup operations where compromised trees pose immediate danger. By gripping and cutting simultaneously, they prevent accidents and keep removal predictable. It's a perfect example of how technology amplifies human skill. The operators still require precision, but the machinery extends their reach, turning dangerous work into manageable tasks. Once the trees are down, not every log is destined for sawmills. Some are reduced on the spot using forestry mulchers. In this segment, we see a heavy mulcher at work against a large red oak log. At its core, the mulcher uses a rotating drum equipped with replaceable cutting knives. These knives bite into wood, shredding it into chips suitable for biomass fuel, soil improvement, or pulp production. But knives wear down quickly when battling hardwoods like oak. That's why constant testing is essential. Here, the crew evaluates how different knife designs hold up. Some emphasize durability, while others prioritize sharpness for faster cutting. The results directly affect machine efficiency. Dull knives increase fuel consumption, strain the hydraulic system, and slow productivity. The demonstration reveals just how quickly hardwood can challenge even industrial blades. Viewers might notice sparks flying as metal meets dense fibers. Despite the stress, the mulcher steadily reduces the oak log to uniform chips. This process is a vital part of modern forestry. Instead of leaving waste behind, mulching ensures every part of the tree is put to use. Chips can feed power plants, support landscaping, or enter the pulp and paper supply chain.
Efficiency and sustainability meet here, proof that the industry is not only about cutting trees, but also about smartly handling every byproduct. From shredding, we shift to chipping. The Dopstock DH812 chipper is designed for medium-sized poplars and similar timber. With its powerful feed rollers and high-capacity drum, it devours whole logs with remarkable ease. The process is simple to watch, but complex in engineering. Logs are pulled in by rollers, guided to the drum, and cut into consistent chips. Uniformity matters. Pulp mills and biomass plants require chips of specific size to maximize efficiency. Machines like the Dopstadt bridge the gap between raw logging and industrial use. By turning irregular logs into standardized chips, they ensure downstream industries can run smoothly. But not all chips are created equal. Enter the vibrating double-deck screening machine. This equipment separates wood chips by size, ensuring only the right fractions move forward to paper or particle board production. Oversized chips are sent back for re-chipping, while fine particles might be diverted for fuel. This quality control step is critical. Mills demand uniform input to maintain efficiency and product quality. The machine's simple principle, vibration and sorting, hides its importance. Without screening, production lines would face blockages, inefficiencies, and inconsistent final products. For even finer separation, the star screen comes into play. Instead of vibration, rotating stars sift material by size. This makes it faster and more efficient for large volumes. It's another reminder that behind every sheet of paper or board we use, a chain of specialized machines ensures consistency and reliability. At the final stage, some logs take a different path, veneer production. The veneer peeling machine mounts logs and spins them against sharp blades, shaving continuous sheets of wood. These thin sheets form the layers of plywood, an essential material for construction and furniture.
The process maximizes yield, turning round logs into flat, usable sheets with minimal waste. Watching the log unravel like a giant pencil is a striking demonstration of how innovation transforms raw wood into versatile products. And that brings us full circle, from forest to finished product. We've seen trees felled, logs mulched, chips screened, and veneers prepared. The journey of wood is a story of power, precision, and purpose. Thanks for watching Wood Arena. Stay tuned for more machinery in action.